Good morning, Akashic Academy. Good afternoon, good evening, whichever one applies to you. Welcome to my office and welcome to my, my desk here. Coming to you from the desk of the founder today, I'm Emily Harrison, the founder and director here inside this most awesome space. For those of you guys who hang out with us regularly, you know that we run this space like a live network. And that means you can tune in every single day and catch your favorite energy healers, teachers, speakers. And the cool thing about doing it right here on social media is that you can interact real time. You can become part of our shows. You can ask your questions. And one of the things that I'm the most proud of in building this space with my partner, Coach Nick, and all of the hosts who are coming forward and creating this space is that we give you an experience every time you show up with us. So I want to pause here and just say hello to you guys coming in because like I said, this is one of the cool things about doing this kind of work on social media is that we get to say hey and interact. So we've got Linda here and my girl Kenzel. Tara is in the house. Eldon, hello. Michelle, hello. Pamela, hello. Kathy is here. Beautiful. Lots of goddesses in the house holding some powerful energy. Uh, I'm super excited to talk to you guys today about some big announcements coming. Those of you guys who hang out and follow along with what's going on in not only my life, but what's going on here at the Academy as we all show up and share. I've been going through a really big creative birthing process. It feels really a lot like the process of giving birth because I found that there have been some ideas that I've had that I've been hanging on to for some time. I just got to pause. They had my boy Jason in the house. What's up, Jason? Holding on to these ideas for a while, and I really haven't felt inspired action. I felt very inspired by the ideas, but the time to take action hadn't really presented itself yet. Now, you guys know we've just gone through a massive amount of shift energy over the past season, over the past summer. We're really stepping into that personal power now. And I've been on my soapbox preaching about this energy coming in. Get ready to step into your power. Things are getting big. For me, in the past 72 hours, couple days, it's just been an explosion of energy coming forward. It's these projects that I'm creating are just coming out of me almost in an effortless manner. So I really want to share that with you guys. I, I made a post about it last night. So if you didn't check out that sacred geometry post with the abundance energy coming through, I really want to share that with you guys. This is how the energy is manifesting and playing out in my life in this moment that stepping into your power. It is effortless creation. And one of the, actually I'm going to share two of the, two of the things that are being effortlessly created. One of them, Brittany says she's missed so much. Well, I'm glad you're back. Oh, you've missed me so much. I intended to get on yesterday and hang out with you guys and breathe, but my day was very, very busy. And then <laughs> I picked my daughter up from school and puking started after that. So the evening ended up getting away from me as well. So I'm happy to be hanging out here now. Thank you for missing me, my friend. So, and hello, Karen Cuba coming in the house. Jeremy is here too. Katie, what's up? I want to talk to you guys today about Akashic Recalibration. This is one of the new services that I am going to be sharing. This is a divine protocol that came in through the space of the Akashic Records to recalibrate our energy. So let's talk about what Akashic Recalibration is. Your Akashic Records hold your divine template. Maybe you've heard of it as your divine soul blueprint. Yes, thank you for sharing this out. Let's, let's, we're going to actually do an Akashic recalibration with our breath. We're going to do a simplified version. So please share this out because this is an opportunity to reset ourselves to our highest energy frequency potential. Okay. And that code is held, that information, that knowledge is held within your divine blueprint or your template. What, whatever you, whatever your terminology is for that matrix of energy that stores this knowledge and information um, that will unlock the highest potential of who you are through awakening your DNA, aligning you with your highest good, and also really um, creating that space and environment that you can come together and work on your gifts and skills and abilities because that's what we got to be doing right now on the planet. Hello, Lori, and hello, Daniel, who are coming in. 
So when we tune in to our Akashic Records for this divine blueprint and ask for this recalibration, this reattunement of our energy field, we are going to um, create a process that begins to unravel some very powerful aspects of ourselves. Through the Akashic Records and through a three session process, and this is what, was been, what had, has been downloaded to me, is a process where I walk clients through, a, through three different sessions, a process of clearing fear, clearing density, all of the limiting beliefs. The second process, we really focus on attuning your frequency to clarity, clarity to upgrading your skills and abilities. And in the third session, we focus on aligning you to your highest good. We take a look at what those highest possible timelines for you are as you expand into your new gifts and skills and abilities. And then we energetically align you to that frequency. Okay, while this is something that I've created as a process that I'm going to show up and walk people through, the truth is, you guys, you can all tune into your own Akashic Records and get your own recalibration. So I am going to walk us through a mini process today where we're going to do breathing and set that intention. Really, all you need to work in this space, and to be, I, I should say to begin working in this space, is the understanding and awareness of plugging into this energy frequency with the purpose of expanding your own highest good, the highest good of the planet. You're coming in that state of growth mindset where you're owning your shit, right? When you show up in that space and you set an intention for energy work to be done on you, you can receive that, especially the more receptive you become. That's another area where we can work on our skills is we can become more receptive to the energy that is coming in and shifting us. Now, I do not want to be irresponsible with his energy and just say, hey, turn you loose, go do whatever you want. I have to let you know that like any other knowledge, any other area where you are seeking to advance yourself, the more knowledge, the more experience, the more mentorship, the more time you invest in really understanding the dynamics of the energies that you're working with, the more powerful you are going to be. So I'm excited to give you guys a, a brief experience here in recalibrating your energy by calling in your Akashic Records. But if you wanna work even deeper, I'm gonna leave the link so you can check out what exactly this process looks like. Reach out to me. One more piece of fun news. I'm gonna be giving away one of these Akashic, <laughs> take two. I'm going to be giving away one of these Akashic cal recalibration packages. Like I learned to say, got to learn to say my own new package free and a new webinar. That's another piece of, of the creativity that's coming forward that is going to be happening right here. A free event for all of you guys next week in the Akashic Academy. Easy for you to say. My mama says easy for me to say. We are going to be doing a live event an activation of owning, standing in your value, standing in your self-love, really being able to own that. We're going to bring in an activation. Hello, Jennifer. I'm glad you're here. And hello, William Blank too. And T-Dubs is in the house. Everybody give it up for T-Dubs real fast. T-Dubs is Teresa Warren and she is our community manager here inside the Akashic Academy. She is also a host of a uh, show, Spirit Sessions on Sunday. Love my girl, Teresa. Oh, also Teresa and um, Christy and Kathy, I believe, are partnering. They have a really cool event and process you guys can take part in too. So I'm going to share that on my timeline. So check that out as well. Just all kinds of stuff happening here. Back to next Friday. We're going to be doing a webinar event, a healing activation to shift that energy, really standing in our value. I'm finding that this is coming up for a lot of people. It's coming up for me actually as well, but in like in a cool, gentle kind of way, I'm learning to step into really owning and feeling my value in a much deeper, more realized way in myself. So I want to call in the records and really hold that space for all of us because that is a key component to expanding. And if you show up to that webinar, you're going to be eligible to receive 
one of the free gifts that we're giving away and that one of those free gifts is huge you guys it is it is one of the akasha ka, 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 ka. <laughs> i'm just kidding one of the akashic recalibration packages i should call them arps i'm going to be giving away one of the arps so hello cindy's in the house my girl cindy i love you cindy's learning to read the akashic records with me and we're having a ball in that space right now with um, all the other students who are showing up and learning and growing and having fun with us in that space. So I'm going to post a link, share more about the Akashic Recalibration, the ARP, is that what it is? Akashic Recalibration Package, yes. Gonna be giving one away in the webinar coming up next week. The webinar in and of itself is gonna blow your socks off. Standing in value, in our own value, like I said, huge, huge component. And right now we are going to set the intention to receive our own Akashic recalibration. Right now, breathing and expanding this energy together, expanding our consciousness. Hi, Christine, welcome expanding our consciousness together. And like I said, while I highly recommend if you feel pulled or guided or you resonate to this kind of work, take the opportunity to dive in and learn the mechanics of what it is that you're doing. But don't be afraid to jump in and play and to practice because when we are actually in the experience of doing it, we're growing our skills, we're growing our confidence. There is energy that is working and moving. So I want you all to know right now that every person on the planet has the ability to access their Akashic records. When you are coming in that state of purity, and purity means, by the way, because you guys hear my dirty mouth, it doesn't mean that you can't say a bad word, okay? Purity means that you're coming with that pure intention of growing, shifting, expanding in a state of love for yourself, being willing to learn and grow, being willing to own the reason that you're experiencing what you're experiencing, that's purity. So when we come from that state, you intend to access the Akashic Records. Now, there is a full-on process that I teach my students that creates a very, very clear access point and connection. But there are many access points, guys. This is like praying. All you need to do is to set that intention understand that you are connecting with a very high frequency of energy that can provide you with insight, healing, and knowledge from the perspective of unconditional love and zero judgment. You gotta know, you gotta know your partner before you start communicating. Marla Torres is in the house, another one of my students, half five. So I want you to set that intention right now that you're connecting in with that space, all right? We're gonna do our hands in prayer pose together and we're gonna start our breathing. I want you guys to just allow your breath to take you inward. Okay, deep breath in. And exhaling. And however you get there, you guys know I do the column of light. Travel into the space of your Akashic Records however you wanna get there. Just let your breath guide you. Create that column of light. Just want to make it very simple and easy. Just intend to connect with your highest guidance, your highest divine wisdom available to you. And recognizing that within this etheric library, there is a genetic blueprint, a genetic code that is uniquely you and vibrationally holds all of the information that unlocks your highest potential. that unlocks your capacity to love yourself, to love others, to be compassionate, to be a creator of your own experience, to create abundance and prosperity. I want you to, in whatever way makes sense to you, call up that code, locate that code, call up those frequencies. And I want you to intend to receive those inside of your body right now. And now we're gonna use our breath specifically to expand that energy, okay? 
to expand our ability to receive and integrate this, these, these codes, this information that holds the highest aspects of who we are, right? With the intention of big expansion, everybody deep breath in. And pausing at the top and exhaling. All the way out. Good job, deep breath in. Pausing, getting big, expanding and exhaling. I'm very conscious in this breath. I won't say aggressive, but I'm very conscious. Deep breath in. Very purposeful, exhale. Let's do one more big purposeful breath. Powerful purpose of expanding right here. Creating that space to integrate the highest aspects of who we are. All right, now let's do some relaxing breaths, okay? A little easier, softer breath. Setting the intention to integrate now. We integrate very easily when we're nice and relaxed. Deep breath in. Welcome Kelly, who's popping in. Gentle breaths to integrate the highest aspects of who we are. Good, one more nice gentle breath of integration. Stabilizing on the exhale. Stabilizing in that new energy. Very good work. Okay, stabilization is a really important thing. So I want to bring your awareness to when we do this kind of work, it can take a couple days to really fully integrate and stabilize in the energy. So I want to invite you guys to be very gentle with yourselves over the next couple days. Be aware of where you are stepping into higher aspects of yourself. That's how you get this, this kind of work to work even more is you bring attention, you bring awareness to the areas where you're seeing the shift, where you're seeing the expansion. Self-awareness is really, really huge in this. And our relationship with ourself is one that most of us don't nourish near the way we need to nourish. How much time do you guys... How much time do you spend talking to yourself? And when you do start talking to yourself, people start asking you, why are you talking to yourself, right? It's, it's really looked at as kind of a, a sign of your crazy, your level of crazy if you talk to yourself. We make fun of ourselves for talking to ourselves. But if you don't talk to yourself, if you don't check in, hey, Emily, how do you feel about what's going on? How do you feel about the price of rice in China? Then guess what? Emily's just going to regurgitate whatever information has been, has come into my awareness, either through the news, but Emily don't watch the news, so it's not coming in through there. Um, but you guys, you get what I'm saying, right? If you do not take that time to get to know yourself, you're never going to know what you really feel about anything. Okay? Never stop talking to yourself, William. <laughs> you're holding that space for all of us, my friend. Christine, you are very welcome. Bruce, you are welcome. Casey, so glad that you're here. I'm glad that this message resonated with you. And uh, love and light to every single one of you guys out there. Of course, inside the Akashic Academy, for our members, we are creating a ninja school for light workers. This is the rise of the light worker. Wednesdays are the days when I teach intuitive development. So my teaching day is about to start. I'm going to teach... Uh, over in, in our Coach Nick's group, the Coaches and Healers Sangha, which is specifically for energy healers and coaches. And I'm going to give an Akashic meditation in that space. And then after that, I show up inside the academy for our members to do a weekly workshop. This week is about telepathy, which is a really fun topic. So uh, I invite you guys just get more and more connected with what we're doing here inside of the academy. I know there's a lot going on. But we want to create a lot of opportunity for expansion. So find where you fit. Find where you like to plug in. Hang out with our hosts. Send us messages. It's a really good idea to send us private messages, by the way. 
um, because there are so many of us working together. Sometimes messages in the group dynamic can get a little bit lost. So reach out to your favorites privately, send them private messages. I love you guys. Namaste. And stay tuned right here. We've got a big day for you.